Hello YouTubers, it's Rob V Dubs here. I'm back for a weekly trade box. Got my first trade box, made my first trade this week, and uh, some weekly weekly findings, and uh, had a pretty good week. Let's see, it started out, I was at work, it was a Friday, which was just last Friday. I think it's two Fridays ago, and uh, I was going through the cabinet at work looking for some food. I found some fortune cookies, and I was like, well, yeah, this fortune, let's see what this is going to say. And here it is, if you can see that. It says, today will be lucky and memorable for you. I was like, I'm going to take it and run with it. I was getting off work Friday morning and I always hit a couple Walmarts, especially when I don't have to work the next couple days. And my buddy Greg again sent me a text while I was in Walmart. Somewhere on the other hand, I uh, found anything yet. I was like, nope. <laughs> I knew what we were looking for. And on, it was only a week away from Father's Day. Father's Day hollers, they gotta be out here somewhere. And <laughs> the weird thing is, I think uh, Western Kentucky, we got them this time a week before the West Coast guys, so I should upload the video earlier in the week. But I didn't. But he had uh, an epic call. I, of course, I was off work. I hit two Walmarts. I had to go to bed. But I did find first Walmart wasn't nothing. Cases were there. And in my earlier videos, on the Tom Kelly pink truck, I went to that Walmart about 30 minutes away. And we're on the front of the shelf. The one in 750 Chase. Chevrolet Hollers got two Camaros on it. That's probably the, I like the blue. That's probably my favorite one besides the raw Mustang Chase. The Dodge is pretty cool. So everybody's been finding these. But M2, what are you doing? These things, oh, stop at 750. Come on, these things ain't chases no more. They're gonna be shelf warmers for people who don't know what to look for. They're everywhere. But I can see them. I mean, they're getting more people in the hobby. They can find their first chase and move more inventory, which will lead moving the basics off the shelf, which I'm bad about that. I had a run in this week. I had, I come back a Friday at a Walmart and had two M2 cases off the pallet, unbox them, and I was all about, I'm gonna get the chase, get the chase. Unloaded the uh, uh, kits that you build with the little stand. It was the one with the yellow and gray 21 window bus in it. And it wasn't the chase I put on the shelf. And then three days later, I'm thinking in the back of my mind, why did I put that on the shelf? It was the only one in the box. I'm never going to find it. And then, I mean, it'd be cool to have. So, don't make a mistake. If there's a basic car, you like it, get it. Just collect what you like, and it ain't gotta be, don't be a chase chaser, come on now. I, I made that mistake a couple times, and go back, can't even find the basic. Not gonna make that mistake no more, so. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a, throw it out there, make a statement, so. At least once a month, people, if you like it or not, help move inventory. Buy basic M2 and get them off the shelf. Come on now. You know that chrome's better than gold on some of them, even though there are 10,000 of them out there. So make the pledge to buy a regular M2 and move some inventory. Especially in West Kentucky. We got too many shelf warmers. Can't have shelf warmers. Well, let's move on to my first trade box. This is from uh, Mr. David. From uh, the M2 Facebook group, he had a trade, I'll show it in a minute. He was wanting the Tom Kelly 124 scale, scale M2s. 
I had one. He won and he had two VW buses. Well, I gave it away. Back up. You didn't hear that. He had two of something to trade and I had one. And I said in my 124 skill unboxing video that I wasn't going to trade my, uh, what, what were them cars? Uh, my Bel Airs. Of course, I had three Bel Airs, so it was, wasn't going to miss it. But man, that blue Tom Kelly Bel Air convertible, you know, it's, you've seen the video, it's sweet. I was like, you know what, if he still has that trade in two days, I'll help him out. He'll help me out. I'm a VW guy. This is Rob V-Dubs. And two days has passed. I text him. Boom, trade was made. So, got it in the mail just a second ago. So, I'm going to unbox this sucker. <laughs> I go away, hint. Y'all know what it is. I got my knife ready this time. So, thanks, Mr. David. You know who you are, M2 Facebook collector's page. Uh, you should be getting your item today too. And uh, I know it's going to a good home. I seen your collection photos and nice shelves. It's going to be sitting on probably. I'm bad about just putting them in the closet where they don't get dusty and the kids don't touch them. But one day I'll have them all displayed. You know how it is. So Rob V Dubs gave it away, but what what V Dub was it? I said I wasn't gonna trade, but I did. Oh yeah. There it is. Y'all seen them pop up on the Facebook page. And of course, I, I got got collecting late. These suckers were already gone, and I had to find them in the secondary market. And I like man, I love the PWs. I'm glad I made the trade. Everything perfect. It's a good trade. They're about 300 pieces. Limited to 300 pieces. So was the. Tom Kelly, Bel Air. So, yeah. So, that's my first 124 scale VW trade. I like it. Thanks a lot, David. You should be getting yours in the mail already if it ain't. And see. So, we started out. With the Father's Day hauler, went and got that, and then that night, uh, went out to eat, uh, went back to the Walmart that had, well, I need to start making in-store videos, well, I'll, I'll get to it, I just ain't work myself up. Went back to the first Walmart, just had the basics, and it's weird, where the dump bin is usually at, they still had the... Avenger Marvel cars everywhere. We stopped in there after we eat for Friday on Friday night and we had some time to kill. They had a dump bin out where the Marvel cars were. And I was like, no way, I was just here. This morning, I was like, I've just seen that sucker. And then of course they weren't out in the threes again. And I told my wife, I was like, we'll dig through it. We'll find something maybe, and uh, like I said, in West Kentucky, it's hard to come by anything. And uh, we kept digging and digging. I told her what to look for, and I had the basic car in front of her. I was like, you find this car, that'll be the super, and then the treasure hunt, Look, just look for the motorcycle. So it was the K case. And from that dump in, she pulled out the bad bagger. That is a sweet treasure hunt. So I got that one from that dump bin. That was the only one. Which told me that sucker's hit. Because I knew there was more. There's like eight cases in that one. And we got down to the bottom. And she pulled out. This super. That was pretty good. For her, me and her to find it together. And 
She don't really care too much for collecting, but when she said she had fun, especially on a dump bin like that. And we got down to the bottom. I found another super. It's not here. I already traded it. <laughs> but I had two of these, same dump bin. So that was a good day. We started out Father's Day hollered. A bagger, two of these. And uh that goes back to a fortune cookie. So that was a good trip. That was a good day for me. Fortune was true. And then a couple of days I I we catch up at the end of the week, all the collector buddies. I had, did you find this, this, and this? Yeah, 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 yeah. And of course I had I'm not gonna hang on to two supers when I'm needing more. And uh, I was trying to make a trade with a buddy. It didn't work out. The next day, he texted me back. Would you want to sell your super instead of make a trade? And I said, yeah, I'll sell it. And he, I, I was going to give him a reasonable price. I mean, they're going anywhere from 20 to 40 on secondary market. And I was like, well, 20, $25. And we went back and forth, and he said 20 I said, no, nah, 20 And then I was thinking that he had about 8 of these and I I missed out I don't know I couldn't find this because I, I mean these were right next to the Batmobile Supers I couldn't find that yet and I was hunting these hard never could find them probably because he had eight of them but <laughs> everybody gets them and trades them off so I took 20 I got them down to 20 and two of these so that wasn't bad of course that so I got that for my basic treasure hunt, the J case. So I finally got that off my list. So that was worth it, twenty bucks. That gave me some money to move around. I'll just put that little guy back there. And then that's see, it's the next day or maybe the same day. We turned that twenty into some more cars. Y'all know what they are. I wasn't gonna buy these. I mean, on the on the web, they, Japan Historics. You know, I wasn't gonna buy them. I'm so, I'm more of like a muscle car guy and stuff. But I seen them in a Walmart. They didn't even have them on the pegs. They just took them out of the box, and there they were. It's like, man, that's 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 a whole set. I seen the whole set, and then somebody scattered some. I was like, mint cards. I looked at them in person, and of course they're the metal body, metal base, real heavy. Real riders, you gotta love your real riders. And it has the 71 dots and Nissan Skyline on the police car, another Nissan Skyline. I was like, yep, these things are coming home in person. And just metal to metal, worth the money. Nice collections, I picked them up. We got them. So it's a pretty good day in West Kentucky. Later in the week, I found me a couple shippers. Three shippers. One didn't have nothing. I found two more baggers. And I wish I had taped that unboxing because the, the Walmart lady didn't like it. She said they weren't supposed to be out on the floor yet. While I was unboxing the shipper, had them all over the aisle in a Told her I'd put them back and uh, apologize and whatnot. She's cool with it though. And then, let's see. And then that Saturday, y'all seen the video, we had the VW Fun Fest, Effingham, Illinois. It was a good one. A little rainy, still good turnout. Uh, uh, Went and did a video of that, and y'all can scroll, search, subscribe, look down, follow me, like, subscribe. I'm up to only seven subscribers. Come on, people. A lot of you use no subscribers. Subscribe, watch that video. It was a good memorable one. Corky, Mike Yeagers, I think it's his older brother, had sundry bugs in Florida, passed away this year, and uh, it was dedicated to him, so that was real nice. It was a good, good one. Look for it next year. And I found some die cast there, but I had most of it. But the next case coming out, L case, 
we're getting the skate brigade i think it's called it used to be called skate punk i seen some skate punks there and this was around 2012 2013 release so i didn't have it yet because i wasn't collecting them i seen that i was like no i'm gonna get that for the state skate brigade so i can have you know something to compare it to so i picked that up Work calls when I go back to work, I usually hit some DGs, Dollar Generals, which we call them. I call them DGs. I pick up some snacks for work and always hit the Hot Wheels. Some of them get the new 2015 or 2016 B cases in. And some of them still on the 2015 B cases. My last year treasure hunts, I ended up hitting two Jeeps. Never have too many Jeeps. That reminds me, I gotta show you some more Jeeps. And another haul. Okay, this haul goes back to the story. When Greg called me and we both were after these and he was fresh, energy, didn't have to sleep on his way to St. Louis, said he's hitting eight Walmarts. I already knew before I went to sleep from night shift that he was going to have an epic haul and have like the whole set of them plus some plus all the dump bins that were hitting and about 10 30 <laughs> I woke up and seen his Facebook message picture after picture so Mr. Greg <laughs> congratulations on your haul it was more <laughs> it was epic hit epic one most probably most one for him or anybody around here he found of course he found this he found the dodge 750 chase he found the raw chase and he found i think it was three more of the dodges so yeah he he's on the m2 page trying to trade some dodges of course i think he's going to hold me hold me one i'm gonna get him a 124 skill what he wanted for the trade because the dodge is pretty cool I'll get it. And then he had some BMWs and baggers, of course, from the dump bins. So that was an epic haul. And the next day, of course, I was headed to Effingham for the VW show. And I told him, man, you beat me a day early. I'm going to have to follow you. What am I going to find? Probably nothing. I found, I'll have to get him in it. Not nothing here, but the only thing I found worth picking up. was a shark bite mispackage <laughs> package sideways so yeah don't follow greg in a hunt because you won't come out with nothing so, <laughs> good job greg everybody had a good weekend and uh i guess that winds it up and uh i ain't got them on the table but the matchbox 50th anniversary for jeep i think it is not matchbox it's got like a eight set of the Jeeps, and I only like, of course, the, I'll get it real quick. I'm back, Mr. Unprepared. I'm still waking up from that shift. The 1943 Jeep Wheelies. That's my favorite. Everybody, every guy likes the Army Jeep. Got the little star on the hood. Yeah, so every time I see one, I pick up. So I only got three. Of course, everybody else is going after them. I hope to have like, you know, like 10 of them. Take them all out, make a drama. Going through mud and stuff like that and set it out for display. So I'm picking up all them. That's the weekly trade hauls, my first trade unboxing. So if you ever want to make a trade with me, just give me a shout out. Or I'll find you on Facebook. Uh, them two page or Hot Wheels, one of them trade groups. There's a couple Hot Wheel trade groups. And, uh, We'll see y'all in a couple weeks. Have some good hunting. Keep an eye out for them new M2. I think it's a Patriot series. Because 
I'm going to be ready when I see them hit. I'm going about eight, ten Walmarts. I'm going to try to get the set and all the chases, hopefully, and uh, have another video. And of course, the yellow submarines I should be hitting the pegs and dump bins here in a couple weeks. And to me, that's going to be the treasure hunt from that case. I ain't much about the boom box, but I'll pick it up for the collection. But the, yeah, the Beatles Yellow Submarine and the, let's see, the regular set of it, which I call them, uh, can't think of the name, uh, the set that'll be like this, uh, my mind went blank, but y'all know, the regular set of them, I think there's like five or six, should be coming out. And uh, look out for them and uh, have another video. So we'll see y'all later. Like and subscribe, comment, tell me how I did, and uh, happy hunting.